Hello everyone and welcome to Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Sarah and today we are going to talk about the new movie, Snack Shack. <laughs> Snack Shack. I can't say it unlike that little girl. <laughs> In a world where young adult content is becoming a thing of the past, I mean, look, we have the CW that was known for YA, now buying things like The Chosen and more mystery things from Canada and family-friendly stuff like Seventh Heaven. It's very strange. And like ABC Family slash Freeform basically doesn't exist anymore. I really appreciate a coming of age story. As someone who started a channel about YA content and angsty things, it is so important. It is important for young people to see themselves in characters. And that's where Snack Shack comes in. This film was written and directed by Adam Reimerer. Reimerer? I'm sure I'm pronouncing that horribly wrong. He also brought us Dinner in America, which is another great movie if you haven't seen it. Snack Shack follows two best friends, AJ and Moose, who are hustlers. This movie takes place in the 90s, and if you were a kid in the 90s, then you know everyone had a hustle. Whether you were mowing lawns, selling newspapers, delivering newspapers, whatever. And these kids have so many ideas, then, and they are just attacking them head on. One of them is they end up putting in a bid for the snack shack at the local pool. And I'm like, that is a really smart idea because if you can win the bid, you can make tons of money, which is what they learn. Here you go, two hours. Hey, you call me a Diet Coke. Throughout the story, we're introduced to some great characters. Connor Sherry and Gabriel LaBelle take on TJ and Moose, and they are so great together. Their chemistry is impeccable. You have to have great chemistry to pretend to be friends. You can hate each other in real life, it doesn't matter. But that like dynamic is still gonna bleed onto the screen. And they, I believe them as 14 year old childhood friends. And I loved seeing them on screen and I honestly can't wait to see what else they do in their careers. AJ's brother-like figure Shane, played by Nick Robinson. Nick Robinson, who's one of my favorite young actors at the moment is still so charming in this and watching him take on this older brother role is really nice to see. Snack Shack is a coming of age story that I think is still so necessary. I loved watching the friendship of these two boys like grow and blossom as well as them having to navigate some really like tumultuous territory that is very relatable to all young people. And when your parents don't quite understand you, you need someone like Shane in your life. This film is laugh out loud funny. It is heartbreaking. And it is just really fun to watch. Growing up, a lot of my favorite coming of age movies were Now and Then, Almost Famous, Dazed and Confused. And all those stories took place in a different time. And so now a lot of this coming of age is taking place in the 90s. That is the new period piece. And I am not 100% behind it. But I am because the 90s was kind of like the wild, wild west end of an era. It is when we still had latchkey kids. No one had a cell phone. Internet was basically non-existent. And so it is still very much a different world for kids growing up to see and it's not that far off from them. It's open season, <gasps> limp dicks. You never know when, you never know where. This movie got so much of the 90s right. Every once in a while, some more modern things would be said, or even like some of the hairstyles, but that's like really nitpicky because it's such a weird melting pot of time. Watching these young boys, where I don't feel oh, there's a lot of coming of age for young boys, be able to relate to each other, have good times, have hard times, figure out their big struggles, and also learning that life's too short to hold grudges, as well as being savvy businessmen. 
I think is a very important story to tell and to see on screen. No matter what gender you find yourself, this movie is relatable and you can absolutely see yourself in these characters. And like I said, that is so important for young people. It was important for me, it's important for my friends, and that's never gonna stop being important. So please continue to make excellent young adult coming of age content like this. Overall, Snack Shack truly surprised me. It is heartwarming, hilarious, and it just reminded me like how dumb you look as a kid cussing constantly. Like, just know you look stupid. I looked stupid, we all looked stupid. No kid looks cool cussing. And I just, it was just funny for me, fun for me to really remember that. <laughs> so if you're looking for a good modern coming of age story, cause you've been missing them just like I have, make sure to check out Snack Shack. Give me a fucked up kid. Cool. You're unbelievable. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you like this video, comment, let me know what you think about the movie, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos. Bye.